Well, it was just a joke. A, a serious <laughs> joke. Like, you know, like when you're joking, but you mean it, he should go to jail forever. But if you support the Catholic Church, isn't that like the same thing as being an R. Kelly fan? <laughs> I don't really see the difference. <laughs> Only like one's music is significantly better. <laughs> Staten Island isn't all heroin and racist cops, you know? It also has meth and racist firefighters. When Hurricane Sandy hit Staten Island, it had finished the job. <laughs> I'd be just as happy if there were no hurricane and Staten Island just fell into the sea. Okay. <laughs> a mentally ill community college dropout who got a Game of Thrones tattoo before watching the show. You could appreciate their work, but only if you admit what they did. You know, you could buy a Mustang, but you have to say, Henry Ford hated the Jews. Mark Wahlberg beat up an old Asian dude. No, if Staten Island is so desirable, then why is it free to get there? <laughs> You've seen gay people, they're beautiful. I might be like a straight five, but I'm a gay one. Yeah, it's easy for you to say. You're like a straight eight and a gay 10. <laughs> I've been masturbating. I was, uh, I was on drugs for the last eight years, so now I have to get like all the bad kids out. It, it costs you $40,000? To pet a horse. <laughs> You could have sex with a person for like 50 bucks. I'm not on Propecia. Yeah, and I just smoke weed for my Crohn's disease. So like, if you're one of these guys who needs to have sex, you know, four or five times a day, then this drug isn't for you, you know? But if you're okay with doing it like once a day, you'll be fine. And I was like, once a day? What am I, Hugh Hefner? Politics gives me anxiety. Like, I try, like, I try to watch it and I'll turn on the news and then they're like, the Senate? And I'm like, I can't. <laughs> uh, we have a Senate now? I'm like, that's crazy. This guy. I thought that there was an unspoken rule. Uh, I've been in therapy since I was six years old, and uh, I wanted to kill myself when I was eight. Tough news about your rebounds, though. And then my mom told me not to tell my dad because my dad would kill him, and then my dad died like a month later. But again, sorry about your free throw percentage. <laughs> She's the number one pop star in the world, and I'm that guy from SNL that everyone thinks is in desperate need of more blood. Wait, what's the prenup situation? Well, obviously, I wanted one. You know? God forbid we split up and she takes half my sneakers. It's dope, I live at her place. You know? She pays like 60 grand for rent and all I have to do is like stock the fridge. Yeah. Uh, yeah, last night I switched her birth control with Tic Tacs. But you know, I just wanna like make sure. Uh, what Kanye said after we went off the air last week was one of the worst like most awkward things I've ever seen here. And I've seen Chevy Chase speak to an intern. I'm like on the left, I'm like, oh God. And then I'm like, I want a career, so I leave. <laughs> yeah. And he started by saying people backstage tried to bully him into not wearing it. He wore it all week. I wish someone bullied me into not wearing this hat. <laughs> Kanye, I know you're like, yo, this is the real me. I'm off the meds. Take him. I'm on him. It's great. For those of you who don't know what the game is, it's basically one of your friends will be like, hey man, would you go down on a guy for a million dollars? And then we would all lie and be like, no. I would do it for like 3,000 if I had to be honest with myself. Like even if I was on a boat and it was my boat, I would still do it. A boat needs fuel. A lot of people don't realize that. They're in the middle of the ocean with no fuel and they're like, ah, I wish I went down on that guy. You know? Hey Pete, won't you have to go to therapy? And I'm like, yeah. But guess who could afford therapy now? <laughs> Look at your father, boy. <laughs> Look upon your father with pride. I see you, man. I am lift you into pickings. I crushed you into the ground. Dad, come on.